When it comes to track data, aren't we all accustomed to this, the dreaded black box? Expensive, complicated, with the squiggly line data that's not really helping to lower your lap times. Then, there's this, RacePack's CL2, the easiest way to lower your lap times using the most compact, easy to install data system for 2008 newer OBD2 or aftermarket EFI equipped road race vehicles. To show how easy it is to use, we're going to do a quick install on the stock 2018 Charger and the Busy Moto center seat Porsche equipped with an aftermarket EFI. The CL2 can be plugged directly into the vehicle's OBD2 port or using the included OBD2 extension cable, which helps get it out of the way of clumsy drivers. Mount the antenna on the roof and connect it to the CL2. Then power on the car. Grab the mobile device to be mounted in the car, turn on Bluetooth, open the D3 app and log in. Touch the phone to the CL2 and tap OK for the pairing message and we're ready to program the OBD2 channels. Notice that the LED turns from blue to a blinking green and blue indicating the pairing's complete. Now we can select up to 12 OBD2 channels on the sensor menu on the D3 app. Now select the team you want to receive the data, enter the driver's name and you're ready to go. Mount the phone in the car using RacePack's optional suction cup windshield mount. Notice when I start the car the D3 app automatically displays the pit dash page which shows the cloud, Bluetooth, and GPS connection status, along with the live data. And as soon as we exceed 11 miles an hour, notice that the D3 app automatically changes to the race dash, displaying lap times, lap number, speed, engine RPM, and most importantly, predictive lap time. Keep an eye on the display while we make a few laps. Remember, the D3 app mapping software automatically calculates the start-finish line for any of the map tracks. Now that we've advanced into lap number two, notice that our lap number has advanced from one to two, and we're now going to start calculating predictive time. Now our lap time is going to be either green or red based on whether we're doing better or worse than our best lap. Now remember, while we're out here on the track, our racing team or anyone who we give access to for our team access can watch our progress live on any internet connected mobile device that's running the D3 app. Now that we're back in the pits and we've turned the car off, the screen is automatically going to change to the summary screen which is going to give us lap data for each of the laps we completed during our run. Now let's make a quick change over to the EFI equipped BusyMoto Porsche. For this, all we need is RacePack's OBD2 to EFI adapter and EFI cable. Simply connect red and black to power and ground, plug the EFI cable in, then connect to CAN high and CAN low. RacePack offers a variety of EFI adapters and cables to suit each particular make and model of ECU. Since we're using another phone in the Porsche, let's quickly clear the pairing from the CL2 by powering on the vehicle and then holding down the clear pairing button on the CL2 until the LED light turns pink. When the LED does turn pink, the pairing is cleared. Now let's pair this phone, log in, set up the EFI channels, the driver and the team, and then we're ready to hit the track. As you can see, the CL2 is extremely simple, yet it's versatile and it's a powerful data system. To learn more, go to racepack.com.